God damn, you fine as hell. I ain't never seen a shoddy like you. Uh, Cause you bad, girl. I'm talking Michael Jackson bad. You ever heard of backbending? Avatar The Last Airbender had one of the greatest endings to a series of all time. And I just heard that the live action is getting rid of Sozin's Comet. After watching just a bit of the live action, I just feel like these motherfuckers don't know what they're doing. I mean, look at this soccer. Rocky, Rocky relationship? relationship? Looking ass. I mean, if they can turn book one into hot buns, I fear what they will do to this masterpiece of an ending. So I just wanted to remind everybody of the peakness of Sozin's Comet. You had the Unk Squad capturing Ba Sing Se, Suki, Toff, and Sokka taking down airships, Azula versus Zuko and Katara, and Aang absolutely cooking the shit out of Ozai. And hopefully a producer from the live action will see this video and be like, You know what? We were just planning on having Kat Tara kill Fire Lord Ozai with ease, but uh, after watching this Who Did It video, Fuck it, we might let Ung have this one. So yeah, um, let's hope this works. As we know, Aang was struggling to catch his first body. He did not want to kill Ozai, but literally everybody in his life was begging him to do it. They were saying things like, Aang, buddy, we, we know killing's bad, but this is Ozai we're talking about. He he's up there with Hitler, twin. You gotta kill him, this is the most justifiable kill, don't worry. But Aang did indeed worry. I mean, bro grew up being a vegan, now he's being asked to kill? The only thing vegans kill is the enjoyment of a nice piece of meat. This was very hard on Aang, so he seeked wisdom from the past avatars. So, a Avatar Roku, should I put that boy in a pack? I just don't know what to do. Aang, if I killed somebody a hundred years ago, all of this shit probably wouldn't have happened. So, don't make the same mistake I did, please kill him. You know what I'm gonna say. Why'd you summon me here, eh? Killing is bad, though! I've killed people for looking at me funny. We're the Avatar, we get to do what we want. Avatar Kirk, it just doesn't feel right. You know what I'm saying? To be honest, I don't really give a fuck. Finally, a fellow air nomad, someone that will understand the value of life- Kill him. What? You have to kill him. Fuck. While Aang was having these combos on the lion turtle, the gang did not know where he was. Sozin's comment is about to start, but when they needed him most, he vanished. So they asked Iroh to be the new main character and to kill Fire Lord Ozai. But he said, That is the Avatar's job. But would you lose, Uncle? Nah. I do win. Basically, Iroh said to pray Aang shows up. Once Sozin's comment starts, the Unsquad squad pulls up to Ba Sing Se, and Iroh shoots a fire Kamehameha destroying the wall. RIP to Toriyama. Then Boomy starts bending three giant ass boulders charging in. Haku floods that bitch. Then Pian Dao disarms all these dudes in two seconds. Jong Jong, which in my opinion is the uncle MVP, is flying in the air, clearing out the streets, destroying all the tanks. I'm not gonna lie, I honestly think the Unsquad squad beats the Aang gang in a fight. Their teamwork is damn near flawless. After that, we get to witness Azula literally losing her fucking mind. Once she heard she was gonna be the Fire Lord, she damn near fired her entire staff. Bitch, just because you're the Fire Lord does not mean you have to be the Lord of Firing. She was even getting mad at her hair. She was going so insane, she started seeing her mom. This bitch is so love deprived, she has to hallucinate someone saying, I love you. And Azula, let's be clear, she probably hated your ass. What is wrong with that child? Anyways, right before she was crowned Fire Lord, Zuko pulled up on that Appa and said, Bitch, that's my career. Azula didn't have to, but she was actually down to 1v1 for it. And Katara was saying, Bro, don't fall for it. You brought me here so we can jump her. She's trying to get in your head. But Zuko took one good look at those awful bangs and he knew. She was crashing out. So he was pretty confident that this bitch had zero strategy and could catch her slipping. But me personally, I'd be shitting my pants if I were Zuko. I mean, look at her face. Straight evil in her eyes. I can't believe I thought this bitch was a baddie when I was younger. She's the type of bitch to start breathing fire while sucking your dick. I know there's some burnt penises amongst the Dai Li agents. Anyways, this fight begins and no pun intended, this shit is fire as fuck. I mean, look at this boy Zuko. I knew he was good, but my god, he was cooking. Azula was aggressive as fuck, but this man did not budge at all. But Zuko started getting cocky and asked her to use some lightning. And at this point, Zuko, you just gotta learn how to create lightning, because you really love that shit, bro. Anyway, she started doing that shit, and mid-bending lightning, she remembers she's a heartless evil bitch and sees Katara peacefully watching the fight. So she attempts to kill her. Look at the grin she has when she notices aiming for Katara is an option. But Zuko's reaction time is fucking insane. Insane, and he dives in front of that hoe. And that right there is one of many reasons why Katara should have been with Zuko instead of Aang. But this psychotic bitch starts hawking down Katara and she starts running for her life. I have no idea how Azula didn't land a single hit. She was spamming. But Katara used her battle IQ to catch this girl in ice and use chains to lock her down. And can somebody explain to me why Azula couldn't melt this ice? Cause that boy Zuko was melting out of ice often. I don't know, maybe I feel like Katara just beat her too easy. I mean, she is losing her sanity, but it's still Sozin's comment. Mm -hmm. 
I'll let it slide, I'll let it slide. But Katara goes to heal Zuko and they have themselves a little romantic moment. But I guess love is Azula's kryptonite. She started tweaking. She was screaming flames, hitting her head on the ground and crying her eyes out. And these two were just watching that shit. And I know exactly what both of them were thinking in this moment. Oh my god, this must be so hard on Zuko. Seeing his sister like that? I hope he's okay. <laughs> That's what you get, bitch. You thought I forgot? You were smiling hard as hell when father burnt my eye. Cry, bitch. It's music to my ears. After that shit, Sozin's comment ends with Ozai versus Aang. Ozai was getting high off the power and started killing more trees than the Onceler. I know the Lorax mad as shit, but that boy Aang was just watching that shit from a distance. So Aang chucks five blocks, and Ozai thought this dude's aim was dog shit, but he was really just trying to take down the airship. He finished that hole off with a fire blast, and him and Ozai just have this stare down. Aang is usually such a goofy guy, so to see him so serious, it, it gives me goosebumps. But maybe I'm just glazing. Ozai gets turned on by the stare Aang is giving him, so he strips and burns his whole fit and ozai must know there's some broke dudes among his staff like me that would go looking for that shit do you know how much a tailored fit worn by ozai would sell on fire nation ebay but he ain't give those motherfuckers a chance anyways ozai flies over to him and ang was trying to plead with this dude i can really fuck you up dude i put this on monkey out so i can beat the living shit out of you but i'm really not trying to do that shit you can call this off we can go home relax live happy lives what do you say mm. No. Aang, this war has been going on for a hundred years. Why'd you try talking? Ozai started flexing his fire breath before starting the fight. And Aang was just playing defense. He was not trying to hurt this man. Like right here, Aang caught him off guard and could have smacked him with that boulder. But nah, he dropped that shit. Basically, the first half of this fight was Ozai shoots an attack, Aang blocks it. Ozai shoots an attack, Aang blocks it. Ozai shoots an attack, oh, oh my god. Aang blocks it! When I was younger watching this fight, I was like, come on, Aang, just hurt him already, hurt him, kill him, <laughs> just a little bit of blood, Aang. But now that I'm older, I really respect Aang for standing on his principles. Like when Aang redirected his lightning, he could have easily sent him to hell with all the other fire lords. But he decided to shoot that bitch in the sky. The parallel between Azula being a gaping asshole of a whore and Aang being a kind-hearted monk is just flawless. But once he did that shit, Ozai took his kindness for granted. Look at him smiling like he wasn't just shitting his pants a second ago. Ozai kicks a fire blast and Aang hits the thriller dance to block that shit. But it wasn't enough. Aang was pretty gassed after redirecting lightning for the first time. He was getting tired of running, so he hit himself in an earth ball like Higara. That's when Ozai said this. <laughs> You're weak. Just like the rest of your people, they did not deserve to exist in this world, in my world. Bro really hit him with the where's Wait, your that. homies at. Ozai started burning the shit out that rock and Aang was feeling the heat like he was in a sauna. He was comboing the absolute shit out of it. Until that shit finally broke and Aang falls back into a rock hitting his spine. The same spot Azula hit him in when he was trying to master the avatar state. And all the past avatars got sick and tired of watching bro get disrespected. So when Ozai gets close, he yanks on his beard and brings him close to see the fear in his eyes. Ozai tries to get a quick attack, but Aang seamlessly deflects it in the air, then blows his shit back. Aang started flying in the air, bending all four elements. And Ozai could barely handle that, so he could only imagine what was gonna happen when they started boxing again. And my personal headcanon is that Avatar Kyoshi was the main avatar in control here, because Aang is normally an open palm fighter. So tell me why he's hitting the Arthur Fist. And Avatar Kyoshi is the only one I imagine being this aggressive. Like, look how mad Aang got when he saw Ozai trying to run away. Ozai gotta be the most spineless coward to talk that much shit and then be running like this. Once Ozai finally had the confidence to shoot an attack, Aang extinguishes those bitches then blows wind so strong it sends Ozai spinning away like a blade blade and destroys this stone pillar. Listen to the genuine fear this man Ozai has. If you gasp like that at the sight of your opponent, just stop and beg for forgiveness. Aang got sick of that boy running, so he took away his flight, grabbed him with water, and slammed him down. He pinned his ass to the ground, and all the avatars within agree to disintegrate this dude. Except for Aang. He gets out of the avatar state, releases Ozai, and says he's not about that murder life. But then Ozai says, <laughs> You should have killed me, kid. Ozai, do you have a death wish? Look at your face literally seconds ago. By the terrified look in your face, I'ma take a guess and say you wanted to live. You know you can't be Aang, but you just won't accept it. But the millisecond he tried to attack, Aang's earth senses were tingling, so he pinned him to the ground again. Aang uses what he learned from the lion turtle to take his bending away, and these boys were in a button mashing clash. And I don't know how Ozai damn near won. No way he got more energy than Aang. But obviously Aang wins, and Ozai is done. And Sokka, Toph, and Suki pulled up and just 
just started roasting this man while he was drooling on the floor. And these three earned the right to talk shit to Ozai. They was clutching up on them airships. Toph's metal bending came in clutch. She came in that bitch looking like Mark 1 Iron Man. And that boy Sokka was acting like Captain America. Captain Southern Water Tribe. That boy caught Toph and carried her with one arm. Then two firebenders pulled up while he was stuck in that position. And right when they got to blasting, he knocked one down with a boomerang. Then kicked his sword up and cut the other one down. I know that shit was hard to do. Physically and mentally. That sword meant a lot to him and he's not gonna find that shit. It looked expensive. I bet there's a broke Fire Nation employee like me looking for it. Anyways, more firebenders pulled up and it was looking bad. Sokka was telling Toph that they was gonna die and I keep forgetting Toph is blind. All she could feel was Sokka and she could tell he wasn't lying. So she starts tearing up. But thank God the show isn't for Game of Thrones fans. Suki pulls up and saves the day. You a lucky guy, Sokka. Have you seen live action Suki? She's a baddie. Anyways, after all this shit, Zuko becomes Fire Lord. Aang pulls Katara and peace was restored. But everything changed once Korra was born. But for real though, Sosin's comment had me at the edge of my seat the whole time. Great action, high emotion, I, I just love Avatar. So Netflix, please, do this show some justice. But yeah, if you made it this far, support your boy, drop a like, leave a comment, I'm broke.